So I'm not gonna say that a zombie apocalypse is likely, but I am gonna say that it's always wise to be prepared. Uh, of course, I'm just messing with you, kind of. After decades of exposure to zombie apocalypse movies and with biological threats becoming more and more real with the outbreak of killer viruses, a lot of people across the world have started planning for the worst. There are already some locations out there that would be pretty good spots for survival. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the 10 best zombie-proof houses. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 10. Mississippi River House The people of Mississippi are pretty great in any crisis. They've dealt with floods, snowstorms, hurricanes, and tornadoes, and they've always come out on top. They even survived a horrific outbreak of yellow fever in the 1800s. In 2011, residents along the spillways of the Mississippi River went to extreme lengths to protect their homes from flooding when rising water levels put them under threat. A number of people were able to protect their homes by building man-made levees and dams. The aerial images taken of their homes are really impressive, and I can't help but think that these houses are basically zombie-proof too. For a zombie to get to a property like this, they first would have to swim out to the house and then try to cross the bank threshold. In a zombie apocalypse, cutting your house off like this is a clever way to increase your chances of survival. Number 9. The Loneliest House in Iceland The Icelandic island of Etlioe is remote. That is an understatement, really. Iceland in itself is pretty remote, sitting at the top of the North Atlantic in the Norwegian Sea. If a zombie apocalypse ever did come to rise, Iceland itself would be a safe place to be, as would any other small and far-flung island. However, if zombies did manage to infiltrate mainland Iceland, LEOA would provide that extra level of safety. The island is part of the Vet Manajar Archipelago off the south coast of the volcanic island. The island houses just one property, allowing for total isolation. Usually being completely cut off like that would terrify me, but this really does seem like one of the best places in the world to survive a zombie attack. A funny story about this place, Iceland announced that the country wanted to give the island to Icelandic singer Björk, but she turned it down in the face of public backlash. Now it's rumored to be owned by a billionaire. Of course, it's going to be billionaires who survive the apocalypse. Number 8. 3970 Spencer Street Only in Vegas would you find something this insane. I actually think it's pretty cool. Two miles east of the Las Vegas Strip, there's a house hiding a big underground secret. From the ground, 3970 Spencer Street seems like a normal house in a nice neighborhood, but it is secretly sitting on top of an elaborate doomsday bunker that would keep you safe and sound, surrounded by luxury should the zombies ever attack. The property's 15,200 square foot basement is a 70s dream home with an elaborate pink carpeted bathroom, a full-scale kitchen, a large entertainment room, plus a bar and a game room. There's also a master bedroom and a guest suite, just in case you want to invite a buddy to survive the apocalypse with you. And these aren't even the best parts. The bunker also has a replica backyard with fake trees and both night and day lighting states alfresco dining spaces, detailed landscape murals, a four-hole putting green, a pool, and a hot tub. Oh, and a barbecue shaped like a rock. Can you barbecue underground? It honestly kind of sounds like a Barbie dream home. Again, you will need to be rich to survive a zombie attack in this house. It was most recently on the market for $18 million. Number seven. 3D Printed Safe House So, the news of the zombie apocalypse breaks. What do you do? Well, you print yourself a house. Ukrainian company Passive Dom has generated an autonomous 3D printed mobile house. The houses are constructed out of a polymer composite using a 3D printer and are fully mobile and fully autonomous, allowing the resident to live off the grid. How? 
Well, electricity comes from solar panels and there is a water recycling system. Also, according to designers, the home is fully insulated, which means zombies won't be able to detect heat coming from the 36 square meter property. The houses cost 60,000 euros, so around $66,000. Passive Dom offers a zombie apocalypse package that includes armored glazing, an alert system, extra toilet paper, and a Bible. It's great to see that they have a sense of humor. Although I will say this, you better have some advance warning on the whole zombie attack thing as I'm pretty sure it would be difficult to get one of these homes delivered to your location in a crisis. If you have a spare $60,000 lying around, why not stock up on one? Number 6. Vivos X Point The website for this survival community is pretty intense. It claims to be an epic humanitarian project the size of a city and the best option for surviving any kind of doomsday, zombie or otherwise. The location in Black Hills, South Dakota was formerly an army base and is now home to farmland and over 575 underground bunkers that can house up to 20 people each. The great perk about this series of underground homes is that they come with a security team. Vivos X claims their security detail can spot anyone approaching from three miles away, and there's just one road in and out of the complex. An entire bunker can be yours for just $35,000, which is a pretty good deal if you split it between you and 20 of your friends. They also offer life assurance. So zombies, explosions, volcanoes, earthquakes, they're confident you will live to tell the tale. Number five, The Ark. Okay, so I don't feel so confident about this. One guy in China freaked out about the potential end of the world and decided that his best course of survival was to immediately sell all of his possessions and funnel his life savings into building an ark. It was good enough for Noah, so it's gotta be good enough for this guy, right? It seems Lu Zhenghai believed a Mayan prophecy would come to pass and the world was set to crumble. Spending $130,000, he constructed an apocalypse-proof boat to help him start a new life at sea. If zombies did start becoming a problem, a life at sea is probably a really great idea. So, as far as I'm aware, zombies aren't great swimmers either. Although, I have to say, no disrespect to Lu here, but this boat doesn't look too sturdy. I'm not sure I'd want to wait out the apocalypse on board of this thing, but do you guys think it was worth over $100,000? Number 4. The Svalbard Seed Vault This building houses something way more important than humans. The remote and super safe Svalbard Seed Vault is located on an island between mainland Norway and the North Pole which we've already established as a pretty sweet spot to ride out a zombie apocalypse. Now, the vault was built as a long-term safe storage place for the world's collection of food crops and was designed to withstand any kind of natural, man-made, or biological disaster. It's essentially the best insurance policy for the world's food supply. The entrance to the vault can be seen sticking out of a mountain, and it is cavernous inside. In the unlikely event a zombie made it into the Svalbard, they would not be able to penetrate the bombproof exterior. They would be left out in the snow to freeze, which would probably also temporarily freeze the infectious zombie virus as well. So, that's great! Number 3. New Refuge Gervasuti In the North Italian Alps, another cold and unrelenting place on Earth, there is a survival pod created by a company called Leap Factory. The pod allows people to survive in extreme environments and is super secure. The location in the Alps is only accessible by a helicopter, which is good news as I'm pretty sure zombies can't operate heavy machinery, let alone fly an aircraft. Waiting out the zombie apocalypse here would be basic. You'd sleep on a bunk and have access to basic kitchen equipment, but it would be mighty scenic. If the zombies ever did come, Heading for a house in the mountains is one of the best ideas you could have. All you need is a helicopter, or maybe some really, really good hiking boots. Number 2. Earth Station What better way to confuse a zombie than by hiding out in a converted satellite? 
The former transmitter is bombproof and has been described by locals as a great place for Armageddon. The satellite, situated in Carmel Valley in California, was instrumental in broadcasting the Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969, but these days it's out of commission. The great thing about the Earth station, other than being able to withstand a nuke, is that it's 96 feet high, so you could easily defend yourself from potential attacking zombies. Number 1. KWK Proms Okay, this is where I want to be if zombies ever come a-knocking. This building was designed by KWK Proms and is called the Safe House. During the zombie off-season, it looks like a luxury modern home with glass walls, a pool, and a beautiful yard to soak up some sun and breathe plenty of fresh air. However, if all of a sudden the world was under biological threat from zombies, this house can seal right up. It literally folds itself until it becomes completely sealed. The house only has one entrance, which is accessible by a retractable drawbridge too. Of course, these features are great for potential zombie attacks, but the house is pretty cool even outside of dangerous situations. It can be programmed to open up like a flower during the day, allowing in solar energy for heat and electricity. And then it closes up at night, which is perfect for inhabitants who might be a bit nervous of intruders. The brain-eating intruders, I mean. That was the 10 best zombie-proof houses. Let me know which one you would most like to stay at. I think I kind of want to buy that house in Vegas. So, does anyone got $18 million I can borrow? I promise you I'll pay it back, if I survive the zombie apocalypse, anyway.